Cho, I'm going to put a bit of a twist on the pizza angle here and I'm going to do a spiced lamb flatbread. So I'm going to get you to get your hands dirty this time and I'm going to use some bread and pizza flour to make my dough. So easy to work with, which is wonderful for people like myself. And the thing I like about it is it's high in protein, which means it's going to make a really strong dough, which is going to hold up that lamb that you're going to put on top of it. Yes, really perfect. Good. So yeah. this is the right stuff. Pinch of salt. Could you make a little well in those dry yeah. ingredients for me, please, Richo? Well, 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 oh, well. well. <laughs> there we go. We're going to pop some water in okay. and a little dash of olive oil. I'm liking this a lot. And just like your pizza dough, you're going to get your hands dirty <laughs> for me now. Okay. And mush it all together, please. Use the claw? Please. Oh, like we that. love the claw. We need the claw. Mm. It's a really soft dough. It's really sort of mushy and you're not yes. using yeast. So there's nothing going to rise. You're not using you're not using self-raising flour no. or bicarbs. There's no lift in there. No, this you're is flat and exactly. very simple, okay. very easy to make. An unleavened bread. I like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to make a beautiful lamb topping to go on top of this oh. richo. And so I've got some red onion, garlic, and that is going to just brown off slightly. And then I'm going to add some lamb. Oh, we need plenty of lamb in there. Nice lean lamb, minced lamb, which is good. Yes, minced lamb, great source of iron. And this type of mixture, if you make it and you've got too much for your pizzas, well, why don't you put it in the fridge and use it for something else? Why or you, not? Or you can throw some pasta in there and stir it up and eat it. Why not? Now, this reminds me of a Lebanese-style pizza. Yeah. With a thin thin dough and the lamb on top of it. Well, I think it's very similar and do you know what, Richo? I'm going to put some rainbows on top. OK, it has to be rainbows. It has to be. A little bit of tomato, a bit of onion, a bit of goodness. So, Richo, that lamb's beautifully browned and now I put in some spices, some uh, browned coriander. Now he's like, yeah, this is my type of pizza. This is where the flavour comes from. It is. Cumin, ground coriander, paprika and a little bit of tomato paste. I'm liking that a lot. These are my types of flavours, Richo. Now, do we let this rest for a little bit? We do. Let's let that rest. This is going to just simmer down so all those flavours soak into the meat and then we're going to be ready to put these pizzas together. Resting, resting. <laughs> Can you smell that, Richo? Those beautiful spices. Oh, I'm excited. You could put that on toast right now you and could. I would be really happy. We could stop here and everyone would be happy. Okay. We're going to roll this dough out so it's been resting for about 10 to 15 minutes whilst this has been going. And, okay. Richard, you're kindly going to do all the heavy lifting today. OK. He's actually a very, very deep down, a very kind and beautiful man. <laughs> Aren't you, Richard? You have to dig pretty deep. <laughs> yes, yes, that is true. And look how soft it is. This is a beautiful. great dough. It's so soft. I'm not even rolling it out. I'm just using my fingers yeah, to nice. get that lovely uh, pizza shape. Don't even need a rolling pin. No, well, I've got one there handy. I see you put one there. That's the thing about resting, using the right flour to make the dough to start with and then resting it. It means you can just squish it out like this Beautiful. really, really easily. Beautiful. So we're going to bring this up and put these on here and I can start loading them up. Okay. I've tried to sabotage my own oh, dough there almost, by, almost. by squashing it. Now, I think I'll get about three on here. Perfect. So, and I'll just give it a bit of a tap with my fingers. Yes. And it sort of looks really, really delicate. OK. I'll pop that on there. Look at that. Beautiful. OK. Perfect. Three. What did they say? Three's a crowd. Not in this case. <laughs> Not in this case. Three's perfect. Or it could be a lot of fun. You never know. It could be. You got to just go with the flow, don't you, Richo? That's what I always say. I'm really loving the spices in there. That's really picked it up. Mm. I mean, you could just use the lamb with one or two of those spices, but yes. together the aroma is fantastic. So I'll just spread that around like that. That's Perfect. what you're looking for. So that's going to go in the oven on 200 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. The dough is really thin, so it's going to cook quickly. And then we're going to put some extra toppings on there. Richo. Really, really easy. And as you like to say, great portion size as they well. They are. So you can have one of these just for yourself or you can share one with someone else if this is an entree. Put some of that beautiful fresh tomato on top. It'll be yogurt? Yes, beautiful. I'm Look loving, at this. I'm loving this. Let's have a taste it of this. It has got a real fresh sort of uh, aroma to it, which I'm liking, and I love the salsa on top. Yes. Mm, a little the bit of mint spices on the top. are coming through. Let's go like this. Let's cut it like a pizza. I Even see how you've got yep. the pretty one here on the plate, and I get the uh, the chopped up one. So Try can, this uh, little... chopped liver one, Richo. Okay. Mm. Perfect. Tell me what you think of that. I love it. Mm. It's really good. I love the lamb, the spice in there. Mm. 
The bread's really nice. It's got a little bit of chew to it, mm. but not too much. I think it's a cracking one. And I love the salsa, the freshness of it, and the yogurt. I know I'm double dipping, but I love the yogurt. It's as well. allowed. Mm. That all comes together beautifully, so easy, and I'm scared of dough, but that's an easy one to do at home. Nothing scary about this.